I'm joined here by Mr. Pavlos Yerolanos, who's the Minister of Tourism uh, for Greece. How do you do, sir? Very good. How are you? Thank you for joining us in your tight schedule. Can't believe you traveled throughout Europe in the last few days to come to Korea. That's right. Just for one day. Well, it's, uh, it's a long trip, but it's definitely worthwhile. We've uh, seen a little bit of Korea, and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, of course, the most popular question today, I must ask, is um, what is the impact of the, of the problems going on with the economic condition that's exhibited on the streets uh, for tourism uh, in the short term, and, and, and how are you dealing with that, with, with the perception the world sees? Well, so far we've had an impressive increase in tourism. Our tourism uh, sector grew by uh, double digits this, uh, this uh, year. We expect uh, an increase of about 12 to 14 percent. That is a very, uh, uh, it, it's a very good situation to be in. Uh, which is showing that uh, that uh, the trouble that has been reported in the news has not had an effect on uh, on Greek tourism, not not uh, not significant. Uh, in particular, Athens has suffered from this, but uh, the rest of Greece uh, is uh, uh, getting people faster than any time before. Oh, wonderful! So you're, there's no strategy changes in your promotion, and and uh, everything's what you call uh, pretty much normal, except for We will Athens. have to focus very extensively on Athens, but, uh, but otherwise we are moving ahead uh, in the same strategic fashion we did before. We're, not, we're opening new markets for Greek tourism, and, um, and that is uh, leading new countries into uh, our, let's say, portfolio of countries from where uh, people are coming in. We're working um, to produce uh, much better um, competitiveness for Greek tourism by reducing prices. And uh, we're also helping by um, liberalizing as much as we're allowed to the uh, Schengen process for people to be able to reach our country. And uh, when you say price competitiveness, uh, uh, in what way is, is that being uh, done? Well, we had a significant reduction, almost a halving of the um, VAT tax, and um, the bigger part of that has been passed, um, passed on to the customer by the private sector. Uh, the private sector also has been offering uh, extensive uh, packages for uh, Greece, and um, they've been successful. If this continues this year, I think we will uh, manage to continue this growth and uh, make uh, tourism one of the foremost uh, economic factors that uh, bring Greece out of the crisis. And these markets you mentioned, which, which are they that you're now focusing on? Well, the first markets we're focusing on are the markets that are close to Greece, uh, markets like uh, uh, Russia, Turkey, Serbia, uh, Israel. Uh, they are the champions of the new era in Greek tourism. But um, the ones that are coming after that, such as China, Korea, uh, and um, Brazil, for example, India, uh, these are markets that we're targeting now. We feel that the populations that travel out of these countries will uh, significantly change tourism within the next uh, 10 years. So um, being there and uh, getting that part of that market is very, very important for us. For the next year, uh, any other uh, plans of significance that you'd like to explain to our audience that, that your office will be implementing? Well, as I said, uh, one of the things that we need to do is uh, improve access, and access means uh, doing uh, more for uh, visa uh, regulation and doing more for travel. Uh, Greece is a country that is not accessed by uh, too many um, long-haul airlines, and we want to increase the number uh, of those airlines. At the same time, we're focused very much on Athens and Thessalonica, the two main cities of Greece, because uh, those are two, two areas that we feel have, been, uh, have not seen the growth that they have the potential for, and uh, creating a good product for these cities is uh, absolutely important. Is regional travel packaging Greece with your neighbors? Uh, part of any strategy? Absolutely. We've already had agreements with, uh, with Turkey as well as with uh, Israel. We're um, in the process of starting an agreement with Egypt, and uh, we would also like to see something like this happen with Italy. Uh, our region is a region that uh, people want to visit in order to see the cultural um, product that it offers. Uh, packaging together the Acropolis with the pyramids or the Acropolis with Hagia Sophia or um, will, will, uh, will only uh, increase the potential of both destinations. Uh, this is something that we find extremely important for countries in Asia as well as countries in Latin America. People, when they leave their country, they want to see more than one place and uh, offering something together is the way to go forward. In the very slight chance that Greece drops a euro, 
Would that be positive or negative for tourism? There is absolutely no chance that Greece will drop the euro. Greece is committed to the euro and the euro is committed to uh, uh, creating the stable environment that Europe uh, has been in the past and needs to be again. Uh, we are going through a crisis and uh, the most important thing to remember to get out of it is that stability is going to uh, move things forward. As long as people don't know the future, that is when things become uh, uncertain. That's when uh, investment stops uh, coming into the European zone, in Greece in particular. The moment uh, the situation stabilizes, I think uh, we will see much more, uh, much better days and, uh, and growth in our economies. My last question, Minister, is just to getting to know you a little bit. What did you do as a career before becoming Minister? Well, actually, I was uh, in fish farming before that. I was in the private sector. Um, and um, I've worked in uh, human resources. But um, the experience, I think, of, uh, of being uh, um, traveling internationally and so forth has allowed me to uh, find opportunities that uh, can be capitalized now for Greece to uh, increase its tourism and, uh, and, uh, and grow. Uh, through this experience. Uh, Mr. Pavlos, uh, Yeraulanos, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.